Hi and welcome in this new ZMX tutorial video. In the last video we saw the ZMX debinding step and now we'll see the sintering step and particularly how to use the Zeta Sinter. First, a little reminder about sintering. Sintering is a thermal treatment that enables a ceramic or metal part to densify in order to give it its final properties. Be careful, sintering and fusion are different. The sintering temperature is lower than the fusion one. In practice, sintering a part consists in heating it up between 1350 centigrades and 1550 centigrades. Depending on the material, the temperatures and ramps can change. Usually a 50 centigrade per hour ramp is used and the maximum temperature is held for 2 hours when it is reached. Moreover, the sintering process triggers a shrinkage. The part size reduces by up to 20% because it densifies. Don't forget to scale up your part during the file preparation in the slicer to make sure your final part has the right dimensions. All the data about the sintering temperatures and shrinkage rates are available in our filament guidelines. First, you have to place the part on the furnace tube. Do not place a part directly in the tube, you need to use a crucible. Place your part in a crucible and then push it with a metal rod. Then place the thermal shields. Push the larger shields on both sides with the metal rod until they reach the crucible. Then place the thinner shields at the two ends of the tube. Now that we know everything we need to about the sintering, let's launch a run. We are going to start with an already installed furnace. You can find all the instructions to set up your furnace in the video dedicated about it. For ceramic sintering, we don't need to use the flanges. We use the flanges only for metal sintering, which will be the topic of our next tutorial video. Be careful, the alumina tube is fragile and prone to breaking due to thermal shocks. The maximum ramp usage is 200 centigrades per hour. Now, let's see how to program the furnace. To switch on the furnace, reset the breaker on the side, then turn the black button and press the green button. A run consists in several steps and you need to enter temperature and time for each step. Press the circular arrow button twice and then the left arrow to start programming the furnace. The first temperature is then displayed. It is the starting point of the cycle which is always 50. Press the circular arrow to go to the next step, which is the first time ramp. Time in minutes is then displayed. Set the time of the first ramp using the up and down arrows to change the value of the selected digit and use the left arrow to select the next digit. When you are done, go to the next step. Then enter the next temperature in the same way. Repeat these steps until you reach the end of the cycle in the guidelines. After the last temperature is set, you have to input minus 121 as the next time to end the cycle. Now wait for stop to display on the screen. While programming the cycle, you can't go back to a previous step. In case of an input mistake, just wait until stop is displayed on the screen and then start over.
To launch the run, press the green button and hold the down arrow until run is displayed on the screen. If the run number doesn't match the green one, it means that the run wasn't launched properly and the furnace isn't heating up. To stop the run, hold the up arrow until stop is displayed on the screen. Now you know everything you need to to use the Zeta Center. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.